Do you want to stay on Kalala and talk the fights oh. a bit? We didn't even talk about the fights. So Steve, stay for a second. Do you second. want to stay for a little bit? Or you yeah, go? well, the, I only saw the main. I only saw the Khabib well, and. Let's, uh, let's just get your yeah, thoughts. Well, I only saw the Khabib one and the Ho Holly Holm. Yeah, that, that's one. all we're going to talk yeah. about. Okay. So, MMA Minute with Steve and Kalala. Yeah. Steve. Your thoughts on Habib? UFC 219. Habib. I was practically blown away. I didn't. Okay, I knew he was good, right? I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, this, he's, he's a good wrestler. Been man. out for a while, but yeah. You know, but I didn't think he was that good. Mm -hmm. And my brother reminded me, this motherfucker used to wrestle with grizzly bears when he was like nine and shit. Yeah. But what he did to uh, uh, Barbosa is the complete control and the the even the underhooks and like I even watched a uh, post fight analysis. Mm -hmm. And the stuff he was doing, that there was details he was doing. I didn't realize while I was watching it. Mm -hmm. And the guy brought it up too, like Rogan and and Dominic weren't even talking about. Yeah. He would grapevine his leg. He would intertwine his leg, a figure for his leg, so he couldn't even trap him. Yeah, yeah, he would trap his leg like grapevine it. And then he was doing intricate stuff, like he would grab his wrist here mm -hmm. behind, and then he would like hit and just what really with the neck. Remember that? Yeah, he, he, it's the just cage? like the complete domination and control within the octagon. He closing the distance. He was just like a leech on him the whole and time. And yes, Edson perfect, Barboza perfect is leech. not a chump by any means. No, that guy I mean, has one of the hardest kicks I have ever seen. Like his entire highlight reel is just like KOs from kicks. Yeah. Even while he was being wobbled and he was still throwing kicks, they I was were, still scared. You could still get knocked out, yeah, even though he was a wobbly. Like, but Habib I, really just dominated. Oh full my god! Domination. I mean, that was. I mean, you heard the score, right? It was like what 30, 25, yeah. 30, 24, mm -hmm. 30, 25. He fucking he was he drowned him. He was yeah. drowning him like in deep waters. If he, if he fought Connor and Connor was on the ground with him, it's over. Like, well, I can't. That would be so cool to watch and I, I that would be a dream fight him yeah. or tony ferguson, ferguson. Uh, even like if max holloway stepped up or you know i wouldn't yeah. want to see any of those because they would be you know they could go the distance but i think habib is i think he's no one wants to fight him yeah people have been ducking that guy for years and i could see why now i just want him to stay healthy who habib yeah, yeah. He's out well he looked year. good like his new he, i didn't know he had a nutritionist and yeah but he has been injured like several times oh. you know yeah. so and and that's what this guy was saying fights, yeah. fighters are waiting for him to get injured during like training or something it's like they don't want to fight him, him. does yeah. he train with yeah. aka with cormier right yeah. yeah he's out there all the time he's in his home country training. but i think that he has an edge he has the mental edge he has a dagestan edge yeah it's dagestan. like he was raised in he didn't have like an the easy woods. life yeah. yeah and i wrestled so his type of wrestling is different too because i'm like he's not even shooting high crotches mm -hmm. doubles or singles even the mma kind yeah mm. this guy's got more i don't even know it's like a fusion of like a greco-roman yeah judo controlling thing that he does where he has complete control of your Cause he was taking him down like not even shooting. Yeah, he had like a underhook mm -hmm. under Barbosa's left yeah. arm, and he was anchoring. And he's I, I don't know, maybe in wrestling you could ankle pick maybe. Yeah, but here he would literally. I don't even know how he took him down. It was just complete Greco-Roman. Yeah, brute strength positioning. It's weird. It's like his own type. Of it's his own wrestling. Opening That's why I'm so like. Grapple. Like really shocked by his skill level. I'm like, what kind of wrestling yeah. is and that? And he's so marketable because shit. so many people love him. He's got over like one million followers on Instagram. Yeah. Oh, he does. The guy is an international sensation. Yeah, yeah. Everyone roots for him. There's something about him that we just all really want to, you know, keep our eyes peeled for. Yeah. Who exciting. could beat that guy? I mean, I'm trying to think. I don't. Maybe Ferguson if he goes all five. Ferguson's very creative with his jujitsu. I, I will that's say that's why I that. feel like on the ground, it's you can. It'll be interesting with those two. Yeah, because yeah, Habib me. is not so much a jujitsu guy, is he? But he's, I think he's. I also think that his IQ on the ground is so like he's inherently good. Mm -hmm. Like I don't think that maybe he has the same like jujitsu training, but I think that he knows. His body, body positioning, the yeah, control. so well. Yeah, control. Yeah. He's all about control. He's he's a damn yeah. good wrestler. I'm curious though how he would do on his back. Cause I hear wrestlers don't like being on their back, and then Ferguson and that's true. loves being on his back. Well, or on top. Well, too. what what would happen to Habib if he was on his back? I don't know. That's that, what I'm saying. I don't, I don't know his jujitsu. Yeah, I don't yeah. know how well versed he is in that. I love him, but right. that would be something fun yeah, to yeah. watch, man. Mm. Tony Ferguson, and then the main event: uh, Chris Cyborg and Holly Holm. I give mad props to Holly for standing five rounds against somebody that dominant. Yeah. 
because I don't think anyone's lasted that long no. against Chris Cyborg. And she had good combos. She had a good game plan the first in the two first two rounds, rounds but yeah. she didn't change it, and she kept doing the same thing. Yeah. You can. And she if was Cyborg predictable. Figured it out. Yeah. Yeah. You're but, launch at me. Yeah. Maybe yeah. the first two rounds, I felt like Cyborg was a little frustrated. Figuring it out. Yeah. Because Holly, it, it reminded me of the Ronda Rousey fight. By the way, she yeah. was moving and dipping. In and out of her punches, but good feet, yeah. But I noticed though, even after the bell, she did some sucker punches after the bell rang. Yeah, she got some good hits on her. Dude, two but rounds at least. Cyborg, yeah. The last thirty seconds when she would activate and turn it on, because I think that she was trying to be economical with her gas tank. Yeah. Because I think a lot of people do wonder when girls are that big or any when fighters that big, like how long they can Lots actually last in the ring or in the octagon. But she was so in shape, and she. She didn't gas out at all. Yeah. Strength was still there. But I also that, think yeah. that usually she comes out like in, with a flurry and she just knocks girls out in the first round. Yeah. It's over, right? Tanya Evinger kind of lasts. Holly was moving around too well, though. She was moving. She, well, Holly's time. amazing. She, I, I felt like her punches really, just didn't have the same power. Yeah, you see as a Cyborg. Yeah, you could, you could feel difference. it too. Yeah, like yeah. Cyborg's way more powerful. But yeah, that's that's. But that's Cyborg. It's like if if any of her punches land, she's yeah. already. You know, she's dampening your fucking. Yeah. So she's not. She's not. No steroids, right? In her past, the Durandami, who who was the initial 145 champion, vacated the the title because she said she didn't want to fight Cyborg because Cyborg had Cyborg had been previously tagged for using, for being on the gear. Because it's obvious, like her her voice is right. super low, all of those like, things. Super but low. I don't know how she can get away with it now. Like I'm, I don't know what goes inside, like you know, fighters in between, like fight camps and stuff but it's really hard with Osada because Osada really does they from what I like know hawk, right? they do you know yeah the testing and everything. yeah yeah you're right out of it's camp just... during camp anytime it's like they're subject to being tested you know so but unless... she has in the past so she has yeah. in the past okay that's all I'm asking too yeah so it's out of her system. Basically, obviously. every single MMA fighter Fighters on. has been. Well, that's on what Coke it, was saying so, too. Yeah, I, I truly. Coke was that. saying that he was like, he "Dude, your that. heroes yeah. have all been on it." Yeah, it's sad. Huh? Except maybe Mark I don't Hunt. think the Diaz brothers are the Diaz brothers. Don't do that. I'm probably they not. They might smoke a little weed, but that's about it. Yeah, I don't think Michael Bisming ever. I, yeah, I, yeah. I for some reason I never think I, Mark Hunt ever did either. He did during Pride. Let's not kid ourselves. Okay. Oh, right, Come right, on right. backstage. Trying right, to be like, I'm right, injured. Right. The tournaments, yeah. they, they're doing something to stay alive for five years. Yeah, but you can't, you can't roid backstage and then perform. Like, roiding happens, like, over time, the strength that you get from yeah, it. Yeah, but they're also not smart. So they're all probably just doing shit in the back that they think gives them the edge. Oh, wait, what was mm -hmm. the one that John Jones was in, was on? Where it's oh, like, it, it takes like, effect. It was like a, some it kind of. It was a black market thing. Yeah, I think it was like some kind of. Uh, protein or like lifting weight pill or something that had that element in it. I don't know. No, it has an anabolic it a, steroid. Oh, okay. though. It was a quest bar. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for what, what what's the heavyweight bout coming up? The Miochik and Ganu. And Ganu. Now that's Who do you be... have your money on? I don't know. I just want to see it. <laughs> Can I just say something that's very controversial? I know like Francis and Ganu is good. Everyone is like on I that. Have, I have Stipe. I do too. I have Stipe. I, I, that... I feel it. Yeah, because Nganu hasn't been tested. We don't know what he's he like. Get with but I mean, what Alistair Overeem is a great test. Yeah. That's, a thing, that's the crazy that thing about crazy... heavyweights, though. It's whoever lands first, first is whoever wins. So it's not like the lower weights where you can kind of go back and forth a little bit. Like with yeah. these heavyweights, they're fuck they have so much power behind their punches because they have all that weight in it that really it's whoever lands first. But yeah. it's like if Stipe, I feel like watching previous uh, Nganu's previous fights, he'll probably take a different approach to try to like, take him down. Because yeah, I feel I like Alistair yeah. was trying to keep him on the cage. Mm -hmm. then, you know, he, he didn't wanted. have a chance to actually. He, uh, he, he didn't a shoot chance. a takedown, no. And no. Stipe's a good wrestler. He can, he can, oh, yeah, right, he can be on top. Right. And I also want to see if this, I don't know if it'll happen, but Dillashaw, Mighty Mouse, if he cuts yeah. down. That's the other fun. fight I would like to see. Yeah. And then Max Holloway, all of his fights, because he's fucking awesome. He's I dope. like Max, yeah. yeah. So. All right, guys. That that's was all we have. All right, man.